So today I'm in oversized gloves, which are going to be a bit of a pain in the backside because my box of small ones hasn't arrived. So these are Paul's. They might drop off, but of course I need to use them. Rainbow embeds. I've pre-weighed everything um, so that I'm not holding everybody um, up. Uh, but seven colours, perfect for uh, rainbow clouds, as you can cut them into any um, size that you, you need, just using a, a soapbox. Now, they can be a bit tricky to bang out, and I've got a bit of a dodgy so shoulder, so I've just lined this with cling film. Hopefully, it'll make it easier for me to get them out. I'm going to do it so that I don't have to keep changing um, gloves for different colours. So if you start with yellow, then go into orange, into red, into pink, into purple, into blue, into green, you can just keep the same gloves on because um, it won't affect your colour. I'm doing a 250 bicarb mix, 125 citric acid that I've pre-weighed out. And because I want them really bright, I've actually got one gram of colour in my um, in my 250 bicarb. So I'm going to mix these in and get through them as quickly as I can. I don't really need to talk you through the, the mixing of these anymore unless anybody's... Um, not watched the previous one and they want me to, to go over what I'm doing if you want me to just shout up oh are you on your sprays 57 sprays is it one of those little room um, spray bottles if it is grab yourself a plant spray bottle uh, mine are sort of like eight sprays for a kilogram mix so it, it's it's um it's much better you won't be there for ages then so i'm just going to use four sprays in these because i want them to be fairly sticky now if it's not quite right i can go back over them um and just spray a little bit extra in it's only embeds so it really doesn't matter too much and they don't have to look really neat either because again it's embeds it's it's going inside things you're not going to see them start to kick back on yeah get yourself a a bigger spray bottle they're you know a few quid on amazon you can get them on next day delivery in a hurry or if you've got a garden center close to you um or even supermarket that they have them so I'm literally just rubbing this colour through, four sprays of water, tipping my citric acid in and leaving it. Now, this is ground citric acid. And the reason that I'm using ground in my embeds where I wouldn't normally is because I want this mix to stay sticky for quite a while because I need to get all seven mixed and in the box and I need them to stick together. So citric acid in. And then mix that in. It, with four sprays of water for me, which is actually probably about two and a half grams into a 250 mix, which is quite a lot. This will stay really sticky. I'm chucking it all over now. Um, and I could probably even put more in there. But yeah, that's going to stay really sticky. And like I say, because it's embeds, it doesn't matter if they go a little bit bobbly and then they're not that smooth because they're going to go inside things. So onto orange. Yeah, providing it's not had any chemicals in it and it's it's just a, a, a plain one, just give that a spray and see how many sprays it takes on that one you don't want to be stood there spraying 57 times <laughs> it's 
so that's my orange now my ratio for this orange is um it's vermilion orange that i've used so which is also called red 40 and it's um three parts yellow to two parts uh vermilion orange or, or red 40. And that should give me a nice dark orange i mean the vermilion orange it will show up orange in your embed and in your bath bomb, but when you put it in the water, it goes more red. So I've just added a bit of yellow just to lighten that up. Put that one in. Now, because it's rainbow embeds and I'm wanting them all to stick together in that tub, um, You've got to work quite quickly. If you don't grind your, your citric, then you've got to work really fast. And there's always that possibility that if one of them's a little bit drier than the other, um, they're not going to stick together and they might break. So for this, I, I've done it without grinding my citric, but um, it, it's much harder. red now again this is a blend of vermilion orange and pink this is three parts per million of vermilion orange to two parts hot pink and this in the water it will come out a slightly pinky red but in the mix it will look bright red I kind of call it passion pink. So citric into that one. And this is a two to one mix, just like your bath bombs, so you don't need to um, mess around with deducting anything from your your recipe so there we go there's my red hoping it all stays nice and sticky um doo -doo -doo. trying to remember which one of these is my pink and it's that one <laughs> Well, I'm hoping it's that one. If I've just gone into purple or blue, I've messed up. You can't tell because the powders are so dark. Yeah, that's my pink. <laughs> So loads of people make um, rainbow clouds. They're probably one of the most popular bombs on the market. It's so much easier and quicker and the effect is, is much better if you can make a rainbow embed because you don't get those gaps between colours. Um, and you get like a really smooth transition between colours as well. I was just scanning around the table then to see if I've got my um, sharp knife. And I have. Right, citric into that one. At the moment, they all look like they're holding up and they're, they all look really sticky. Oh, I chuck it all over the place. As you can see, it's it's now all over the table. 
I'm a bit of a messy maker as well, but you know, making a mess is is all part of the fun, isn't it? I'd just rather have somebody else clean it all up after me. <laughs> right, so that one's nice and sticky. So into pink, into purple. That should be that one. Then we're gonna go into blue and finally into green. And it's not a long job, this really. Other than weighing all, out all my bits and pieces, you can really throw these together quite quickly. No, there's definitely not a clean way of making. Well, not for me, anyway. Yeah, a, a white, clean making cloth um, is about as, as much as I can do to try and keep it from getting everywhere but if you make a lot of bath bombs in your own home you are living in bath bomb just central it gets over everything so that's my purple done mix this citric in almost done and this um, ratio of purple is three sorry four parts pink to one part blue because that blue is potent and that will give me a a nice lilac-y purple right into blue If you see me wincing at all, I've hurt my shoulder. <laughs> Not 100% sure what I've done yet. Um, it's been a bit dodgy for a couple of years. But the last couple of weeks, every time I go to pull anything or pick anything up with this arm or even just using it, it's really tweaking and hurting right in my shoulder. So I have a feeling it's a rotary cuff um, or rotator cuff injury. Somehow, probably overuse, but... It'll either heal or it won't. And it's got two chances. At some point, I'll go and get it checked out. But at the moment, um, I'm just hoping it, it settles down. <laughs> so that's the blue. One more to go, and then we can start layering these up. Citric into that one. And I'm hoping I've got a little bit left, because I've got this really tiny little egg mould here, and I'm going to be making um, nests later on today, Easter nests, and I want to get a few different coloured eggs made to sit in the top of my my nests so that's a nice sticky blue and then finally into my green And this is a green that um, I've blended as well. This is a one part blue um, to three parts yellow. So it should go a little bit deeper than say the apple green. But if you've got apple green and you just want it a bit darker, just add an, a little tiny bit of blue to it and it'll just darken it off a bit. So that's my green 
makes sense. And then my Citric, those pops away. So we're all done. And that, we can start layering them up. Try and get the excess of this off because I've, in fact, just bear with me one second. I'm just going to go and grab a spare pair of gloves because I don't want to put that into my yellow. I should have brought some food, but as always, I'm never prepared. There we go, pinch more of Paul's gloves. I hope he doesn't mind. Hopefully mine will turn up soon. But I went to check where they were and um, the size that I'd ordered was showing as out of stock. So I'm assuming they haven't turned up because they're either not in stock or on back order. So I've had to order from elsewhere and in a different size as well. Gloves have been the bane of my life for about a year because um, the quality started dropping really badly and trying to find some that don't split on you all the time is really difficult. Right, so I've got my box. I've just lined it with um, cling film just to hope that it's a little bit easier to, to get out. And all I'm going to do is work in the colours of the rainbow. And I use um, Richard of York gave battle in vain. So... We'll just start layering those colours in. I've kind of got used to how much I need to put in. But as you're putting it in, just remember you've got seven colours to layer into there. If you want to be precise, measure your box and work out the depth that you need for each layer. Or if you're like me and you just like to guesstimate it, then go right ahead. So just very lightly tap each layer down at this point because you don't want to tap them down too much and create um, a really flat layer because you want these colours to, to be able to push into one another. And if you compact it down too much, you won't get your next colour to stick in. So leave the top a little bit fluffy. Put a bit extra in there. And then, oh, it's gone really stiff in the bowl because it's really sticky. And look, that's, you can just, and I've not even compact that yet. So, next colour in. The first time I did it, it didn't work very well, but I didn't grind my citric. After that, I started grinding my citric, and it's worked okay since then. But, um, there's always that. That fear you're going to get one layer that doesn't stick together and bye bye rainbow embeds. I'm hoping it behaves today. So my yellow layer in. Again, you know, making a mess is all part of the fun. And I just make loads of these up and store them. With these, I do assign them a batch number because nine times out of ten, by the time I, I use them all, I'm onto different um, batched bags of bicarb and citric, etc. So, green. In there. Get a nice little... Gentle tap down. A bit more. So perhaps didn't fill them quite deep enough. Now my blue. Might look full, but once you start pressing it down, um, 
it'll sinkle up. Gentle press down on that. And then my pink. And I use this soapbox because for me, the strips are the perfect size for the cloud that I use. But if you've um, got different sizes of, of clouds, just find a, a box that will, that's the, the depth, sorry, yeah, the depth of the box wants to be the width of your cloud, just with a little bit left over so that you can compact some um, bath bomb mix on the edges, just to give it a bit more stability. So finally, my purple. So I'm just going to pop this on the top and then I'll start pressing this all down so it sticks together. There we go. Lots of nice mess on the table there. So, I'm now just going to push this down. And I'm scanning around the table for my... Um, store card <laughs> because they are incredibly useful when it comes to things like this as well to get a nice level top but i can't see it um it's probably gone for for washing but giving it a good push down should do the job i think i've got one i haven't they've got one in here no should be fine. Oh, that hurts the shoulder. <laughs> Hi Nikki. <laughs> no, you're just um, missing me um, probably mixing the, the rainbow embeds, but you'll be able to watch it um, on catch up once the stream's finished. So I mean I will be back with another one because um we're gonna do the nests. Oh there's a card. Um uh but I need to, to prepare in between videos to weigh everything out because it all takes time and I don't want to bore people with uh, watching me measure stuff out. So there we go. It's all in. It's compact. And now I'm just going to sweep this aside. So what I've got for doing this, um, one of these car um, or window um, squeegee things. They're excellent for just getting rid of your your rubbish. And I do have a bucket underneath this table and. It all gets swept into there. And then I go and play volcanoes in the sink at the end of the day. Or I save it for grandchildren to play with. They make volcanoes in my sink and my toilet and sometimes all over the floor. So, all good fun. Right, now I'm just going to get... This is um, chip shop paper. But it's really cheap, um, disposable and a clean way of of doing these i'm going to try and tip this out and if it won't come out i'm going to just hopefully tease it out with the the cling film oh it's coming always a bit of a tricky job there we go so there I've got my embed block, rainbow block. I'm hoping that you can see that there all right. And now, normally I would sort of like give this maybe 10 minutes to, to really firm up so that it doesn't stand much chance of crumbling um, as I cut it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it now. 
So the depth of my rainbow cloud is about two centimetres. So I'm going to try and cut these at around about one centimetre. I'm going to lay that down there like that. And then I'm going to cut these into little strips. And then they will just sit inside my, my mould. Now I've done it relatively quickly and I didn't put as, quite as much in as I normally would. Um, I'll cut those bits up afterwards. So my lines are possibly not as neat as I would normally do them, but at least you get the idea. I'm hoping that you can see that there. So that's a, a slice held together and then I just cut that into three or four strips. But have a bash at it. And if you just remember to grind your citric, then you shouldn't really have any problems with them staying together. Um, and it works with bath bomb mix as well. So if you want to do rainbow cubes or mini sticks or anything like that, it's a great way of doing those. Or if you want to just do triple colours or double colours and you don't want to be messing around putting endless embeds in. Just make your designs up that you're going to put in your bomb all together and it saves loads of time because all you're having to do is just grab one embed and, and put it where you want it or two. Um, so they're really versatile, they're coming really useful. And... You can also make all your little toppers for things out of them. So let's just give this a go. So I've got a, that there. <laughs> and then I have got some of these little plunge cutters. Let's just see if it'll work on, on these. It might not. So that's my little chick and egg. I'm going to push that down in there push that down and hopefully we can get that to come out there we go don't know if you can see that I'll just pick it up gently because it'll be fragile at the moment push them bits off the edge so then you've got little rainbow um, chicks and, and eggs that you can sit on the top of maybe a little halfy bomb or something you know I put them on top of plain white bombs or you know just plain colour just to jazz them up and push them in and so you get that there's a whole heap of endless possibilities that you can do with them it just depends how crafty and creative you are and this will uh, Stay workable for quite some time and that's literally just down to grinding your citric and just adding that extra little bit of water I mean you could probably use these while they're still damp as well now that it's settled down a little bit there we go I'll just cut the rest of these up and then I'll cut them into strips and then that's easy rainbow embeds as you can see, I didn't really do anything special. There was no drama in getting the mixes done quick enough or getting them to, to stick together. So it's not really anything advanced. Most of the time, it's just having the courage to go for it. Um, I know there's a few that doubt themselves, but just go for it. <laughs> The, the very worst case scenario is that they might not stick together, in which case you can just crumble them up and use them as ordinary embeds anyway. There we go. 
Um, yes, it is a soapbox. Cheap and cheerful. See if I can get this bit cut in half without it splitting. Oh, just. There we go. So now I'm just going to cut these into strips. There we go. Use them smaller and bigger because I use them for all sorts of things. Give myself a little bit of space here. And then I'll literally just push these aside, leave them to dry, and once they are, they'll just get packed into a into an airtight box and kept for whenever I need them. But um, normally I make a double batch because when I do rainbows, I make loads of them and use all the end beds up. They don't last me very long. Um, yeah, you can use the powder one. It, it worked really well with the powder one because, of course, you don't have to grind your powder ones. So that's citric acid. Yeah. It's, uh, it's great stuff. But it will definitely work really well with, with the powdered. I know if the powdered one that's like icing sugar, you might just need a spray less because it is quite reactive. It's excitable. So there we go. Sorry, it's boring watching me just cut these up. But again, if you want to um, make rainbow slices out of your ordinary bath bomb like this, you don't really need to cut these up. You can just leave it as a as a slice. They sell really well. And my rainbow sticks are probably one of my most popular items. In fact, the most popular item, I should say. Um, I don't do them like this because I need them much bigger. But for, for mini sticks or slices, it would work like this. Oh, that's starting to really stiffen up now. They're already starting to dry. I think I've managed to get them all. So that's those. Um, and yet one gram of colour in a... 250 bicarb mix is plenty. I'll let them dry off a little bit and then when I go on to do the baskets in a minute, I shall get a uh, thing of water and then you can see um, what they're like in the water. So you don't have to stay and watch this if you don't want 